uh-huh. but isn't it circadian rhythm for every human being is different so let's say mm. i might be a person who where my body and cells and everything is active in midnight mm. way more than it's active during the sunrise and it can happen with someone else that there are few people who are early risers and they perform work well digest absorb food do everything better when they operate on a sun sunrise to sunset cycle mm-hmm. and then there are the set of people who are like midnight scrollers kind of people let's say me uh, i don't know if that's good or no i'm just asking you mm-hmm. because i've read it that different people with different Correct. cycles Correct. different right? yeah but the, so mm-hmm. i can the other set of people we all can be someone we would be at our pro- best productive self externally and internally if we sleep late and wake up late ha huh. do you think that's a possibility it's a possibility for the first 5 to 10 years when you are between 20 to 30 because circadian rhythm is something that we didn't invent it just evolved correct so you know you cannot change your insulin mm. all right yeah i always say that the manufacturing warranty of a human body is only up to 40 years and beyond the 40 years it depends upon how good you took care of your body in the first 40 years eventually your body will show signs of distress in just a matter of time if we don't wake up and sleep at the right time i mean if you're not respecting your circadian rhythm yeah some patients might go up to like 40 nothing happens some patients might see even 30 31 and one of the strongest believer is of my i am one of the strongest believer that all these young heart attacks that's happening is because that we are abusing our system in the first 40 years by working late nights not sleeping well not eating well and thinking that that is the sign of productivity and that is the sign of a normal individual you just mentioned the problem of starting your day after 11 am is the underlying disturbance of the circadian rhythm yeah and the graveyard shift workers you know i live in san francisco i see all my you know high fi ceos they work out in the morning they eat very well they come at 9 am in the morning and all our people over here in india overnight starting from 10 pm to 6 am and answering all the zoom calls and everything correct yeah multiple research studies have shown that graveyard shifts are increased risk of obesity diabetes hypertension including stroke and heart attack grave what would you say the late night shifts late night shift is called graveyard shifts okay ha uh, where so graveyard shifts have led to obesity obesity uh, high blood pressure diabetes uh, multiple studies have shown that so people who are like me <laughs> sleeping late <laughs> working till 4 am are prone to more heart attacks high blood pressure i'm not saying you get heart diabetes, attack diabetes <laughs> obesity more prone to increased risk increasing risk right uh, yeah. increase that is proven but does it mean that oh you know i'm going to quit my job and then stay at home not doing anything absolutely not right so you just have to understand that there is a compromise that you are doing to your body by adopting this lifestyle maybe because of financial reason maybe because of your personal goals but the bottom line is there is a compromise to your health to compensate for that you better do everything right you eat right you sleep well in the morning and then you work out you meditate you drink water you make sure your protein content is okay everything okay then you could do the other thing thank you so much for watching this clip till the end for more such amazing insightful clips please subscribe to our channel